Hola chicos. Hola. Hello from Buenos Aires. Uh, today we are going to check out a very interesting garden in Buenos Aires. And guess what? It's a Japanese garden. Let's check it out. One eternity later. Hola. Again, part two. <laughs> Finally, we are here in Japanese garden. Uh, it's a little Japan of Buenos Aires, so we decided to check it out and I hope it will be interesting. Let's see. getting started with such authentic music in the park uh, I usually like when they try to create something with music like more cal calm atmosphere and right at the entrance uh, when you hear this music you're like oh that really feels like you are in Japan and there are also some small shops to buy some Japanese style items. I think it's a great place to buy some Japanese souvenirs. For 1,400 pesos. Same. A lot of different items. Oh, some origami earrings. A pond with coins. You can make a wish and drop some coins. So we found some Portal de la Cortesia. So it's an honor of immigrants. This garden was actually built by uh, immigrants of Japan as a thank you for, to Argentina for receiving them as immigrants. It was opened in 1967. Uh, and it happened when they found out that an uh, imperial uh, couple from Japan uh, was supposed to uh, visit Argentina for the first time. And as a thank you and as a welcome gift, they decided to build this uh, Japanese garden. Uh, and uh, they uh, found out it, of course, not super early. And they managed to build this garden in 50 days. Uh, but I guess they will continue building. Maybe it was not the exact uh, situation as it is right now, but I think still building a garden in 50 days, that's super fast. And here is the, like, uh, the sign of thank you made in 1967, but we also found like different ones made uh, like in different years, like 98, 91st, uh, 97, even in 2013. So it says uh, as a thank you to Imperial Su Altreza and La Princesa Akiko de Mikasa. So probably that, that was the name of this Imperial couple. And Argentinians also call this place uh, Small Japan of Argentina. <laughs> And I think that's awesome. And 
it's also our first Japanese garden. Have you been to Japanese garden before? Yeah, in Vladivostok, Russia. Without me. <laughs> Sorry. Tell him to stop seeing places without me. <laughs> because in Georgia we don't have, I mean, we have a in Tbilisi botanical garden where we have a small portion of Japanese garden, but it's very, very small. It doesn't re really create any association with Japan. Uh, so for me, it's almost like first time. The entrance costs 690 pesos per person. And also we were lucky because we almost didn't have to wait in the lines uh, uh, because last time it was also an official day off uh, and that's why we ended up <laughs> seeing such huge queues. So uh, as, as I understand, there, there are not so many people all the time. So choose wisely. And there are a lot of uh, trees like this where you can hang your wish and wait whether it comes true. We found tons of origami. Oh, that's nice. And it comes somewhere down here. And there is like tons of them in the box. The box are actually one million origamis. That's a lot. <laughs> Inside the park, uh, you can find a little exhibition. Different Japanese drawings. But I couldn't find much information exactly whether they are Argentinian or they are actually Japanese. And there are also some people making some origamis. So. I wouldn't say something super interesting. And inside there is also small Japanese garden. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. a flag of koi fish and also there is some legend that this fish can go against uh, the flow of water and it managed to do that and it got golden and some stuff I don't even know exactly but in any case uh, it was made because on May 5th is celebrated a uh, day of uh, uh, children and it's like the like a figure for children to be just as strong as this fish. I hope you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, we found some koi fish. Hello. And also many plants have this small writing so you know what they are. And it's great that for usually for names, so you don't need to know any Spanish. <laughs> it's just a name. <laughs> so far, we like it. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. But it turned out to be much smaller than we expected. We thought it would be much, much larger. Uh, but maybe it's even better because sometimes you get tired when it's when the park or uh, garden is too big and you get tired and you just want to go home as soon as possible so i guess it's even better and we also found the list of people uh, who participated in uh, the construction of this garden so it says 420 people i think so mostly it were immigrants uh, from uh, uh, japan and of course, eventually, uh, of course, they constructed this as a welcome. However, later on, uh, Argentinian government uh, started taking care of it. And that's why we see it today as it is, because they are taking care of it. And also, there are so many coins uh, in the ponds that I think if you collect everything, you will become rich. 
<laughs> like tons of coins. And of course, traditionally, as we shoot, we bought some fortune cookies. And then we remembered, what if it's in Spanish? And we don't know any Spanish. They costed uh, 50, uh, 50 pesos. Our future and our fortune is in this 100 pesos. Let's check it. <laughs> okay. Did you mix them? Yeah. He just okay. mixing our fortune. Okay, yeah. let's check it out. This one. You are first. Okay, almost. Okay, it's, it's in Spanish, we need time to translate. <laughs> we translated our future. Mine says, don't be afraid to open your heart. Yeah. And yours? It's my love in a good times and in a bad too. That's okay. great advice. <laughs> Keep laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Still going. Yeah, that's our future. Look, such an awesome tree. What is this? This is called Limpia Tubo. I don't know about such tree. Look at these small tiny things. They're so cute. Is this edible? <laughs> and there's airplane. Hello. And next we have, as I understand, a traditional Japanese house that we usually see in movies. But unfortunately we cannot go inside. As always, everything is closed. Some Daruma Argentina Campeon. I'm not sure what it is. If anyone knows, leave a comment. It's so unfortunate that we cannot even go inside and actually see anything. Because from here, like, there is some stuff at the end and you can hardly see anything. And we are done for today with a little Japan of Argentina. Make sure to leave a comment whether you like this place. And also make sure to subscribe to keep updated with our videos from Argentina. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Yeah.